Okay, he was depressed. Yeah, t- 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 tell me something new. <laughs> um, no, I think uh, it, I think we all had our ups and downs, uh, you know, that year. I think there was an awful lot we had to get used to. Um, you know, we weren't really prepared for the the success of that album. But um, you know, I think uh, I think when you're in that touring environment, sometimes small things can really be blown out of proportion. Um, and it's it, sometimes it's hard to see the bigger picture, but you know I don't think the future was ever really in doubt yeah. at any point. I don't think any of us were depressed either. That's kind of quite a strong way of putting it, uh, especially you know having had a really successful record. You know it would be churlish at, at uh, the very least to, to get depressed. You know I think we just like got very tired and uh, and um, you know one of those things for Kelly. It's frustrating when you're touring is you're kind of away from the the writing process, which is, you know, what powers him really. Um, but no, you know, we generally got on with it in a very British stiff up a little way, you know. <laughs> uh, toured the record and, um, you know, had saw some amazing parts of the world and and uh, then, you know, cracked on with our record, you know, after and that. When did you start actually, when did the writing process begin for this album? Um, it was, during that tour, during the Sight Alarm tour. Um, in fact, it was before that, wasn't it? It was, well, I can remember we were writing, bef- before we recorded Sight Alarm, we were already writing stuff. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, two months before that record came out, we'd been back in the studio to demo stuff. Um, I'm not sure if any of those ideas really made it we to the We used Siroxat. That was in that session. Was it? The basic riff for Siroxat was in that session. Mm. I, I listened back to it recently. Well, there you go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I mean, we began writing in earnest, I, I guess, at the start of 2006. Uh, that's where the majority of the record came together. But, you know, it's been, it's been swimming about for, for a few years, I suppose. But did you know, um, well, when you started uh, the recording for the album, did you know what it would have sounded like? I mean, did you talk about it? Or we want to go this, this um, direction? Um, not explicitly. I think we we all knew that it wasn't going to be like a, another sort of angular guitar record. I think we were quite keen on sort of bringing other elements into it. And you could tell with the with the way that the beats were being put together, the drum parts that, you know, there was going to be sort of some kind of machine element to it in a way. But beyond that, I don't think it was clear straight away, you know. The drums, yeah. You were saying, well, I, uh, you, you did some dr- drums on uh-huh. Sunday. Yes. And was it any good? <laughs> was it any good? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I didn't really hear the drums until I'd, I'd come out of uh, come out of rehab. But basically, I, I, I basically uh, developed a bit of an addiction to cigarettes, and uh, I couldn't play drums. So Gordon did the parts for Sunday. But, um, yeah, yeah, they were good. Rehab for no, cigarettes? No, no, really. Um, no, it was just uh, Sunday was an idea we had when we were rehearsing one day, and there was an extra drum kit in the practice room. Yeah. So we, we dragged it out and couldn't start playing on it. But uh, yeah, I think it's good. Definitely. And w- w- was for you now? Were you more involved also with the uh, electronics beat? I mean, for you or yes, and no. I think kind of really because not many of us have that much of a te- t- technological understanding. Uh, is that right? Un- technical understanding? Technical. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, the well, student yeah, works. And if your uh, understanding is of technique or of technology. Yeah, maybe maybe both. But, um, which is why we, we used uh, Garrett Lee to, to you know, to used. produce his... Well, so well, used. <laughs> used him and, and, and sucked him dry. Um, I saw you playing a keyboard on the record. Huh? I saw you, like, with a Moog twiddling knobs. Yeah, I didn't really... It's all on there. Is it? I can't really hear it. But, uh, anyway, whatever. Like, that, that's not programming, that's just leaving on the keyboard. But, um, yeah, I, th- I think Garrett, you know, that was kind of something he, he, he would do in, you know, in the morning or the evening and kind of introduce to the band. And then Kelly would say, you know, um, I want something to sound like this. But I think, I, th- I think pretty much most of the basic rhythms were kind of written as a band. 